I am leaving my fiancé of eight years. Hey, Reddit, I kind of just need some advice on how to process what I need to do over the next couple of weeks. For some quick background information I'm 28 years old and she's 28 years old. We have known each other since we were 13. We were best friends for years. We both dated during these times of being friends. I had girlfriends and she had boyfriends, but we were always close. Honestly, I think a lot of prior relationships failed because our partners couldn't handle the fact that our best friend was of the opposite sex. Anyway, after years of being best friends, we got drunk one evening while being home for college and slept together. It was the best sex I have ever had, and she says the same. After that, we joked about being friends with benefits and we did that for a couple of months, but our emotions started to really grow for each other, and we both admitted to always having a crush on each other. Everyone said we did. Anyway, so we started dating. We had what many would consider the perfect relationship, no real issues and our arguments were few and far between, not to mention usually petty. A year ago, I proposed and she said yes. We planned our wedding for the fall and here we are. Anyway, we had our bachelor and moderate parties about a month ago, and we told each other what we were going to do. My buddies and I were going to the amusement park not going to say which one during the day. Then we were going to go out drinking and riding four-wheelers and gators on trails. We only had a couple to be safe. We were by no means drunk. Then after that was done for the evening, we were going to go back to my place, barbecue, play board slash card games, and video games, and get smashed. My soon-to-be ex-fiancé's plan was to go to the spot in the morning, go to the winery for the day, and then go back to their hotel for the evening order in room service, and play games, what games I don't know. We both insisted on no strippers, I, for one, do not really care as I am a confident man and I'm confident in my package. My soon-to-be ex, however, didn't want me seeing other women naked. I said I had no issue with that as strip club slash strippers aren't really my thing and the same goes for her. I have nothing against people in the field. It's just not for me. Anyway, our nights go without any problems, and then she comes about a day later. Everything seemed normal, and we have continued to finish up the wedding. We are getting married in October so it is coming up. Well, anyway, over the weekend, it took me some time to process. My buddy calls me and asks me to come over to help him with something. No problem. Anyway, I get there. We work on the little project he needed help on. It only took about an hour and I said to my buddy, I think you could have done that on your own, dude. As a joke, he says, yeah, but this isn't really the reason I had you come over. I asked him, then what am I here for? He takes me into his home where his wife, a good friend of my soon-to-be ex-fiancé is sitting at the table crying. I asked, dude, is she okay? He says, yeah, but she has something to tell you. His wife just says, I am so sorry. She goes on to tell me that the day of their party, they went to the spa and the winery, but they made a detour on the way back to the hotel. They went to a strip club. Apparently, a girlfriend from college, my soon-to-be ex is good friends with her, but I have never cared for her, had been wanting to go to the club. She had been telling my soon-to-be ex that she really wanted to go and the others all day were insistent. Anyway, they get my soon-to-be ex really drunk at the winery and she she says verbatim, let's go to the club and see some hot guys. My buddy's wife goes, but mainly to make sure my soon-to-be ex doesn't do anything too stupid. They get to the club and they do the normal strip club thing. Throw money at guys and drink. Well, her friend from college whips out a hat and some furry looking thing and says we have assumed to be wife here. She needs one last good night of fun. She then proceeds to get some stripper over there and is throwing money at the guy to give my soon-to-be ex a lap dance. Like I said, it is whatever, but I do not like the lying. I said, even though I am not happy about the lying that really doesn't bother me, my buddy says tell him the rest. She goes on to say that he took my wife into the back room for a private dance for all the girls. Anyway, my buddy's friend declines and goes back to the car. After about 10 minutes, 
she goes back in to see what is going on and sees my soon-to-be exploding the stripper to completion with her friends cheering her on. Now I swear this isn't some BS crap made up like you see on porn sites where porn stars are taking women. My soon-to-be ex literally blew a stripper. My buddy's wife took pics and a video to cover her own as when this eventually came out. No one has a clue. I asked her to send them to me and she did. I told them thank you and left. I called my brother because he was the only person I could think to call in that moment. I knew my brother did some bouncing when he was younger, but I didn't know he worked at strip clubs. He said that was all too common. He said male strippers are actually encouraged to have the female visitors touch them as they will stay longer and spend more money. He said, I don't like to think about how many men are raising some strippers kid. This was a few days ago, and I have been trying to act normal around my soon to be ex. She has no clue what is going on, but I think she is beginning to suspect some things. We both have very high sex drives and have sex almost every day and we are both very affectionate. I haven't shown my soon-to-be ex any affection or had sex with her. I told her I have just been busy with work, the wedding, and not feeling the best. Although she has been asking, is everything okay, and do we need to talk about something? I have just blown it off as my mind just has a lot going on. Anyway, I have already made my decision to leave her. I just need some advice on what to do next. The house we live in is mine and she is not on anything. We have separate bank accounts and have no kids. I do need some advice on cancelling everything, letting people know, and basically kicking her out the best way with the least confrontation. I want nothing to do with her after this and for me to move on. Plus, for those who I am sure will say it was one drunken mistake, shut the hell up. Alcohol does not make you do things without your control. It makes your impulses stronger, hence. The saying sober thoughts or drunk actions. Plus, now I wonder if she has done this before and I just don't know. I have no trust in her and never will again. I have now lost my best friend and soon to be wife. Thank you to any and all for any helpful advice you can give. Told our soon to be ex fiance and I have been best friends since we were kids. She cheated on me and I am done trying to figure out the best course of action to cancel all the wedding plans and how to move on. Edit soon to be ex just came down to give me a kiss good night. No. I didn't kiss her. I said I am getting sick and to tell me that she is going to see the one friend Friday Saturday and will be back Sunday morning. Probably going to take this opportunity to get her things together change the locks and cancel everything. Then have my brother call, send a message to everyone that the wedding is off. It'll be funny when her friend gets the message while she is with her. Thank you to everyone for the kind words and advice. Edit 2, she was definitely drunk. However, high-fiving the one friend after she was done kind of takes away the whole accident, really didn't think I would have to share 